We're going to look at this 7.2.6 problem where we will use a binomial distribution, but in this time uh, we have a, or we use a normal distribution, but this time we have a binomial, which means there's a percentage in the population. Uh, and we're going to look at a sample and see what the probability of uh, that sample having a certain characteristic. And let's go ahead and type in on this problem, P is the probability of success. So 42% of companies surveyed outsourced, blah, 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 blah. So it's 0.42 is P. Now Q is the opposite. So Q is equal to one minus P. So one minus B2. N is the number of uh, samples, so 368. Standard deviation, now standard deviation is the square root of P times Q divided by N. So it's SQRT for square root, P times Q divided by N. All right, so we have all of our uh, information here. And that's everything from this first paragraph. Now ready for part A. Now 149 or less companies. We are using the normal distribution function here. Let's type out, this is probability uh, x is less than, uh, it's not 149, uh, but it's not the number of successes now. It's the uh, probability or percentage All right, unfortunately for this part, we don't know right away the probability of success. We have to compute it. So we're told 149 or less out of 368. So here we're gonna go with uh, part A equals 149 divided by 368. So that is uh, just about 40, a little more than 40%. It's pretty close to P. Uh, so we're gonna see what's the probability X is less than this value right here. And so I'm gonna move that over here. X is less than, I'll take that value and put it right there. And then close the parentheses. So what I did, I have three different cells here. The first one just has P parentheses X less than. Here's the value by itself, so I can actually use that value, and then I close the parentheses over here. Now I'm going to put the norm dist function here. Although, no, I, I'll just do it below. So norm.dist. All right. So I need X, which is the value we just typed, that right there. The mean is the actual, uh, from the population, the probability. And then standard deviation we just computed and we're going true. And remember the normal distribution always tells you uh, that value or less. So it'll work perfectly for part A. Hit enter, there we go. Four decimal places, two, seven, eight, five, five, submit. All right, there we go. Part B is almost identical, except we have a different number, but there's or more. Whenever it's or more, we're gonna take this uh, binomial or normal distribution and do instead of this, go one minus that. All right, we have to change a few things. If I just drag this down, if I copy and paste it down here, you'll see we have some problems because everything got shifted. So what I'm gonna do is undo a couple times, control, now I have to hit escape, control Z to undo that and escape. Let's go in here and we're gonna lock down the numbers like this. So now 
when I take this and I copy it and paste it, I get all the exact same values. And here are these three, copy, paste here. So now we have x greater than. All right, we do have to do another computation, 165. So that's right here. So the proportion is close, but it's 0.44 now. Uh, let's see, I do want to move this one down so I can just click it and drag it. You have to see the uh, four-way black arrows here. Don't go with the diagonal, that's not, that's not what you want. Uh, these four black arrows let you move it. All right, so I moved it down to there, hit enter. Uh, but if I leave it like this, it's not going to be right. This is or more. So that's important. We have to do the complement. So the opposite to this, which is the one minus. So 1350. Submit. All right, excellent. Part C and D are actually easier. There's one less step. We didn't get a number, we're just given a percentage. So let's go and let's see, A, we label A here, B here. Copy these, paste them right there. All right, we got C, D. All right, part C is 43% or less. So this right here is just 0.43. And part D is just 0.38. And if you look, part C is the or less, that matches part A. Part D is or more, which matches part B. So this one is the or less right here, uh, part C. And this regular normal distribution works. And except it doesn't work because I didn't Drag this one down to here, and I'll probably have the same exact issue on the last one. Double click, drag that blue box down. There we go. All right, so those two values go here. Six, five, one, two, nine, three, nine, nine. Probably should round that up. That one is annoying. Nine, four, double, oh. All right, there we go.